Hi everyone, welcome back to Squatting Saffron. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a glutes and a hamstring dominant workout. I'm going to be starting off with a leg curl machine. I'm going to be two warm up sets and two working sets. So first I'm going to put it on a lighter weight and perform this set for about eight reps. And then my next set warm up set would be about six reps. And I will also be doing a superset with this exercise as well. So here I'm getting myself situated. And I'm ready to go. Almost. Almost. There we go. I'm ready to go now. So I'm doing again about eight reps. And then I will superset this with the next exercise that I will show you. I'm going to superset the leg curl machine with the good mornings. I have made videos on the exercises I have done. All of these, I believe I made a video of apart from some glute exercises from the video. Do check those out. I will link those above. And now I'm going to be performing the good mornings and getting my hamstrings. And the bar itself weighs 15 pounds. So I'm doing this as a first warm up set and then I'll add some weight on it and then I'll do another six. And on my third and fourth, I will be making it the weight go up again and trying to shoot for 20 reps. If I reach 20 reps in my third set, then I will bump up the weight in my fourth set and then I will do another shoot for another 20 reps. If I don't, then I just know where my strength is for that day or week. Um, I do highly recommend when you are working out to note the exercise and the sets and reps associated with that. That lets you know if you need to bump the weight or more, if you need to focus on something else or where your strength is for that day and week. It, that's just how I do it all the time. I'm always having that focus um, in the gym and I'm always consistently writing down how many I've done. So now on my second warm up set, I just showed you I'm doing six reps.
now I am just doing a little bit of posing in between my sets. I usually do do this. Why I'm doing this? Well, you have to watch the end of the video so you can know what my announcement is. And I am so excited to share that information with you guys. So now this is my last set that I'm doing and this by now it is really killing me. I'm so glad that is over. You can tell from my face I am all dead. <laughs> Moving on to the next exercise I'm going to be performing the dumbbell stiff deadlift working those hamstrings again and I'm just getting situated out. Again I've chose a lighter weight doing about eight reps and then the next two sets that will, I will be working will be my working sets and they will be higher in the weight and in the rep range. And I will list down the exercise and the weight and sets and reps down below in the description box so you can kind of understand what I'm trying to say when I mean by warm-up sets and working sets. Again, for the sake of this video, um, on the first exercise I showed you all my sets, but in the last couple of ones that you'll see, Moving on forward, I didn't really put all three sets in the video. I just thought that that was highly unnecessary and that required a lot of time. And about that point, if you do one warm up set and then the working set, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you can always leave questions underneath and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Moving along to the most hateful exercise ever, but it is very important. I'm going to be doing walking lunges. This is my warm up set. I'm doing it on an empty bar, and I'm going to be performing 20 reps. Yes, that is 20 on each leg. And then I will bump up the weight, do another 20, walk back 20, and walk back again 20. And then I would do a third set and that would also be 20 and 20 on each leg. By the last set, it was very brutal.
Here I'm showing you that on my last set I did add two tens on either side of the bar and that is my third set. You can see my face. I was like, crap, I can't believe I have to do this. But I did do 20 walking back and walking forward. So I did not cheat. Now I'm doing the leg extension. Again, it's a lighter weight, less reps. One warm up set and then two working sets. In this exercise, your quads should be doing the work, not your feet. A lot of people have the tendency to bring up their feet forward. Um, you should not be able to see your toes when you are sitting down and pressing up the weight. So, and do not put your hands on your quads call that cheating but put it on the side or put it on the side of the machine like i'm holding it right now but do not put it on your quads no hands on the quads please Moving on to the glutes, I am doing the cable kickback. I've used the little step up box right there so that then I do not compensate my lower back when performing this exercise. I will make a detailed video on this little trick that I found out. Um, I just don't hurt my back every time I do this now. So if your lower back does hurt and you cannot have a straight back, do try to put a step up box and then your foot on the box and then your one glute that you'll be working on will be the one that's kicking back so i place my foot adjusting it placing my foot on the box and now i am kicking up my left side of my glute For the last exercise of today is going to be the barbell hip thrust. This one is heavy, heavy, heavy. I love the way this one feels when I'm done with it, but I do not like training my glutes often. Um, and I don't, I don't know, it's, this one's just very difficult. But it's a challenge and challenge is accepted. I will also make a video of this in detail if you want more glute videos so stay tuned for that i also made a glute video with banded just the bends 
and you can perform those at the gym or at home and I will link that above. So I hope you guys liked that hamstring dominant workout with a little bit of glutes in there too. This is what I currently do. Um, so I'll talk about my current routine a little bit. So I have been doing something really different with my body. Um, I am actually going to just announce it right now that I am competing in a female bodybuilding show in the wellness division. If you don't know what the wellness division actually requires, it's more symmetrical from the upper body, not too much muscular, but it still shouldn't be so slender. So it should be a pretty wide um, upper body, slim waist, and the quads, hamstrings, and glutes are the must. Now, over the years, um, I always wanted to have a stronger upper body. And I think I am pretty happy with my upper body, but then my lower body kind of lacks. So I took this competition as a challenge. Uh, it is my first time competing, so I do not know what I'm putting myself into, but I have been training for this for a couple of months now. Um, when the show is, I will let you know. So you're gonna have to follow me to know all the updates about my competition, but I hope to post a lot of other things, my workout routines, uh, what I eat in a day, some vlogs here and there, so do make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that then you can be updated on my future videos because it is gonna be nothing but fun in the future. Um, I hope that, I mean, I challenge myself in this competition. I have been really having really good workouts lately. I've been having that mind-muscle connection. I feel like I'm better as a lifter ever since I've started with this competition. It is really, really different. And like I said, I will go into further detail um, with my workout routine, what I do in a week, what I eat in a week, and also all my thoughts about competing. And if you are interested, then you can also follow this, all these videos and stuff. Um, this is for first time competitors. Uh, like I said, this is challenging, but I hope to show you guys everything and hope that you guys follow me throughout the whole journey and see where I can get. So again, I'm taking this as a challenge. I don't know if I will place into anything, what I want to place into um, that is like in the near future. I mean, I, I just really don't know. I wanted to be really honest and that is something really big that I have been working on currently. So. I hope to post a lot more things. So please, please, please do follow me on my Instagram, Squatting Saffron. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I will see you in my next video.